to Guttural Frequency, everybody. Uh, you've got Tony. Terry. Devin. And joining us today on this special podcast, not that it's going to have a different name, it's still going to be episode, whatever this episode is, Edison. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Edison and I fight. A lot. It's, it's uncomfortable. It's <laughs> like a mom yelling at her child. Um, so re- I really make sure I drink when I'm in the same room. And um, we have the creators of Strip Club Massacres. We've got Bruce Kilroy. Woo! Hello. And, <laughs> <laughs> that Bruce Kilroy. Just Bruce Kilroy. <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> It's a bullshit interview. Bob was, Bob was Bob. being too quiet over on the other end. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the bar that's right now, guys. That's, that's because Bob knows I'll talk over him all the time. Long, so. uh, Bruce oh, Kilroy and, like and Bob. Midnight. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like, talking we're over here. We're going to be right in bed now. like midnight. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> we, we got this. We got this. Uh, Bruce, <laughs> Bruce Kilroy and Bob Clark, uh, the two creators of Strip Club Massacre, which is a movie that we watched and reviewed. And, and we liked and we liked. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure we almost went to jail for <laughs> for watching something that wasn't Strip Club Massacre. <laughs> yeah. We were really confused. <laughs> yeah, because the yeah, first time we watched it, it looked like it had like Arabic subtitles, and we're like, oh shit, did we just like tab into an ISIS stream or something? Yeah. <laughs> we were freaking out, like, oh god. Yeah, Canada's weird. We don't. Well, what happened was I tried to rent it on Google Play. Yep. And it that was not available in Canada. So then hmm. Edison's like, oh, go to this site and you can find it on here. And then it, it was not that. No, it wasn't. It was. It was actually a mess. <laughs> yeah, we, we, yeah, we didn't stick around to. Oh. <laughs> so we, um, we ended up renting it on Steam, which it is available in Canada on, on Google Steam. Cool. Very cool, good. Cool. Well, thank you guys, first of all. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. Thank you. Um, so you're the ones that watched it. <laughs> <laughs> we did. So we did. you three right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Technically four. We got you four people in. So. Yeah, Edison's not oh, here. Yeah. Edison had to work, so. Yeah, yeah. he's sending packages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. um, yeah, no, it was, it was pretty awesome. And I love the little, like, jokes that you guys made, too. It's like, oh, man, I hope this isn't one of those shitty indie horror movies. That was, that was clever. <laughs> that was a good, that was a good like, that was That was all Bob. And, you know, like, as much as we, like, set to not make it funny, the mm-hmm. thing is, like, Bob and I have known each other for over 30 years. So oh, wow. That's it's, awesome. It's it just, like, it was, like, inevitable that we would think of funny shit. And mm-hmm. in this case, it was Bob. And we said, well, we're just going to put it in there anyway. Fuck it, you know? So. Oh, it made it <laughs> um, great, though. It, it was probably... Really. Okay, good. Because, you know, I guess some people would argue that it kind of takes away from... In certain instances. But, I mean, Bob and I were just, like... I mean, you know, hey, we we love to make each other laugh. So if we love to make each other laugh, we're gonna put that shit in the movie too and make other people laugh, hopefully. So hell yeah, yeah, no, it worked for sure. Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah, Good. we got lots of we one got thing that I'm glad and... you guys. One thing I'm glad you guys picked up on. I was listening to your, um, I guess your review mm-hmm. on your podcast and um, the fact that Carmen, who played Layla, always had the random medical knowledge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, she was... I went into that thinking about let's have like a deranged female Dwight Schrute from The Office. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was cool. I, I noticed that. I was like, she, she's like, like a med student or something. Like, right, right, fuck right. It. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> when, like Doctor Giggles kind of her personality is exactly her personality. Like she wasn't really acting that much. Oh, no. <laughs> that's no. awesome. That's no, cool. she, she's, a, she's a legit dancer, and I don't think really any of. We shot a couple, I guess, pr- I guess promo teasers and stuff that we mm-hmm. shot at the strip club, but that. Um, I mean, she absolutely fucking dropped the jaws in that place. I mean, you could hear a pin drop. She, awesome. <laughs> I mean, it just, it did, you know, it, it, it didn't seem like a, a way we could kind of fit it into the movie, really. But mm. when we were shooting those couple pre, um, promos, man, she just, unreal how talented that girl is, for That's sure. But, but also, totally fun, totally fun, as you guys saw. She's a riot, so... Yeah, she's cool. wicked. Yeah, it was a really good cast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I was going to ask, uh, yeah. like, how many of the cast were dancers and how many have been like actors or whatever like was it pretty um, balanced ratio as far, as far as the main main cast uh, she's the only real dancer oh, no. all the background all the background dancers you saw anybody in the background never really had a major part in the film 
<laughs> were real dancers that we hired from clubs in the area. Oh, sweet. Oh, cool, but cool. she, uh, yeah, of all the, the five main females in the film, she was the only, actually, I take that back, I take that back. The chick that got her eyes cut out, the <laughs> yeah. the bartender, yeah. is actually a legit dancer. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, okay. yeah, yeah, because we noticed she was moving yeah, pretty yeah. sexy on the table. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and, and very anxious. Yeah, to she likes that. that. She's, she's a very <laughs> specific right. fetish. You can only act on, like, once. Just <laughs> just getting your eyeballs gouged out. Yeah. <laughs> those are the only, of the people that had speaking parts, those were the only two legit strippers. Okay, sweet. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Nice, nice. Which that kind of makes sense, because I remember, like, not... I don't want to use the phrase, gets their tits out. Uh, <laughs> but we're already here. Yes, you, yeah, you uh, do. Yeah, you do. Tony. massacre. Um, yeah, not, not... To be honest, I was expecting, like, you know, way more, like, you know... Mm-hmm. Boops. Boobs everywhere, like almost. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so are we. <laughs> gotcha. And they were just like, no, just, fuck it. You know. If you guys could have invested some money to us to help us out, I could have pulled out a lot more. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, Bruce, yeah. Could ta- Bruce could tell you a story about that. I mean, he he can tell you that you know that was our vision was to have a little. We didn't want it to be over the top, mm-hmm. but we did want a little bit more. Right, right. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, but yeah, low budget. Yes. You got these girls that aren't making much to begin with, so it's kind of hard to be like, hey, yeah, that's some of your tips. Yeah. yeah, it was it was absolutely absolutely born of you know the budgetary restraints that we had, mm-hmm. um, but also you know also this was like I hate to use the word grassroots, but I mean it, it was Bob and I. We called out friends. Like, you guys nailed it, too. Like, we called out friends that we knew. And people that were just yeah. like, hey, do you have anything to do this week? Then come fucking help. Co- come hold this microphone for us, you know? Yes. <laughs> so we just, we did a, we did a lot of that. Um, be my yeah, fluffer. You know, what's up? I was just joking. I said, be my fluffer. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, give him a little pick. We, yeah. we have we had standards, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, so it just it was what it was, and, and you know, I think Bob and I kind of like what you guys said, like expecting a little more bl- uh, boobs. And Devin, I know you were wishing for like fountains of blood spewing from every orifice. <laughs> yeah, but that's just what I wanted in every that, movie. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. yeah, she went into Fifty Shades um, of Grey with the same mindset. So it was really <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, we just. It didn't quite end up like that, but I think that, or I hope that, you know, at least Bob and I had a decent enough story to kind of offset it a oh, little yeah. bit, you know? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that, that was the thing. Like, there was, like, a, an actual, like, beginning, middle, and end. And you cared yeah, about the, the characters. Like, like you cared yeah. about Megan. And... Yeah, it's yeah. true. <laughs> Whereas, like, a lot of times, like, watching, like, a few low-budget... I'm not even going to say, like, low-budget horror movies, like... There are lots of movies where I don't care about the characters, yeah. and, and it's a high budget. <laughs> it's a lot of high budget ones, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You're We're like, just... I hope they all fucking die, because they're a bunch of assholes. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. usually how I feel when yeah. I want a movie. <laughs> kind of like how they, they do it in, like, Cabin in the Woods, where they, like, make every character just a fucking pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just like, yeah, I'm cool mm. when they die. <laughs> Except for the weed-smoking guy. He's the one who lives, and that's, that's, yeah. that's all right. <laughs> just counterbalances all the chemicals with the ones already in his yeah. body. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's <laughs> how I want to go. But yeah, so <laughs> so we we unfortunately found out about you guys after your uh your indiegogo yeah and so we didn't get the chance to throw you some cash <laughs> uh so oh, how did, how did, next like, one yeah yeah, yeah. Two. yeah totally yeah if you guys oh, do a sequel the or next one. one's gonna be amazing by the way yeah, oh, yeah. what's it gonna be are we able to are we able to ask you about that or you want to keep it a secret or? you want to take me uh, well, uh, here I will. I will tease, and Bob will sl- slide it in all gentle, like. Um, <laughs> That's how I prefer. So, cool. Yeah, I'll find off. myself off a little <laughs> bit. At least there. with a stranger. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you guys can turn the video off for a minute if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm uh, off to the side. <laughs> you know, originally we had plans for you know n- naturally you're like you're thinking like oh well it's a sequel we even we even ended it as a perfectly good opening for a sequel and we decided against mm-hmm. it and then we said. We said what would be even more badass is to go back and do a prequel to center on the evil three, the three evil girls. Oh, and how cool. That would be cool, yeah. 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 But we said, but we said, fuck that too. So. Okay, all right, cool. <laughs> we just fucked um, everything. Uh, but yeah, what, may as well. what yeah. we did do, I think I can tease, I will say this, this next movie is 
It's a total uh, comic booky thing to do, but we're writing the next movie in the same universe. Okay, okay. sweet. Oh, Is right. it about the roommate? <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. No, I'm sorry. Hey, I will say this. I actually texted Bruce today because I listened to y'all's review for the first time today. I never mm-hmm. had a chance to. Oh, how nice. You, when you talked about who wrote the lines of the evil bitchy roommate, yeah. I was yeah. like, hell yeah, they gave me props. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Billy. Well, she was fucking awesome. I would great. write it, and Bruce, I told Bruce, hey, check this scene out. So we'd always, if he wrote a scene, I'd go back and proof it, or if I wrote one, he'd go back. We went back and forth. Mm-hmm. And I was like, is this too much? He's like, nah, fuck it, let's keep it. I'm like, all right, great. Let's yeah. go. That is great. <laughs> yeah, no, she was perfect. Edison and- still signs off with a bye, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I, will say, yeah. I, will say, right. I will say, in her, in, in honor of her, we wrote the lines that she said, but the whole one month. Oh my god, that was oh, so no. good. That was, that was actually added. Like she actually just read the script and came on set and did that. And I was like, yes. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, she fucking nailed it. Like I remember when we, when we watched that, we all just fucking lost it. Yeah, that yeah. was. Yeah. That's, that's, I think that was the moment that we're just like, all right, we're we're invested in this movie now. <laughs> 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 she did a great, did a great job. Anyway, sorry, Bruce. Yeah. Go back to the the new one. Sorry. Uh, no, yeah. no. So I mean, that, that's my tease. We're gonna we're gonna write the well. We are writing it right now, but it takes place in the same universe, which. Anybody who has seen Strip Club Massacre will be able to identify those, I guess. Maybe, you know what? Maybe, maybe not. It's it's actually a very tiny Easter egg. Oh, okay. He's going to, like, drive by tees and, like, like, oh, wasn't (laughs) that that place? It's got, like, like cop tape all around it and stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, yeah, it'll be in the same universe as well. And And it actually... Um, Bob, should I? Can I tell them about how we're gonna open the next, like, the significance of the opening of the next movie? Is? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so, so the, the 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 script for Strip Club Massacre morphed several times because of the fact that Bob would write some, I'd write some, mm-hmm. we'd collaborate, and then we mm-hmm. decide, no, eh, let's change it, let's do this. So anyway, we started Strip Club Massacre originally with this specific scene. Okay. And we never ended up we never ended up finalizing it that way. So what we're gonna do, and I don't, I guess I don't really want to give away what the scene is, but the point being is this next movie, the opening scene, or actually the whole movie, really is based off of the opening scene we originally wrote for Strip Club Massacre. That's exactly okay. right. Yeah, what the opening, what the opening scene was supposed to be, this whole next movie's about. Okay. Awesome. Okay. That's that's. Yep. Actually, very pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah I'm very curious. Well. <laughs> and that, that's an awesome. And if I could take, and if I could take it a step further, um, and Bruce oh, yeah. probably attempt to this. Mm-hmm. Whereas Strip Club Massacre was fun, you know, we had the, you know, the funny scene. Some of the stuff was a little ridiculous. This movie is a little more dark, Ooh, okay. a little more gritty. I mean, we'll, st- you know, we're still gonna have still be some funny one liners here and there because you have to have that. Oh, totally. Mm-hmm. But, we're but my goal. The day that I saw Amazon had my movie listed as a comedy horror, I was like, fuck you, I'll show you a fucking horror movie. Oh, no. <laughs> so, so guns are guns are blazing now because it's not a goddamn comedy horror. So yeah. game on. Nice. So it's a regular type horror. Break yourself yeah. Because yeah, it's sure. going to be fucked up. Cool. Awesome. Oh, yeah, that's, no, that's cool. I, I know, the, I know, like, like Devin and Edison, you were both kind of hoping for something a little. Like, yeah, I think Tony, you were saying as well. I, I said based off like more. the title, I thought it was going to be more Evil Dead ish. Yeah, we actually more, were expecting yeah. more comedy than but, than yeah. horror. But I think it I thought was you guys said you wanted it to be. You were expect, because like, of Edison the title. Was expecting more gritty. Oh, okay. No, I was more like, I thought it was going to be like comedy first, horror second. Um, but to have it flipped yeah, around was actually yeah. quite awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, was, it was. We'd so, say it was more yeah, of a horror first. Yeah. yeah. And the well, title worked. Like, I, oh, yeah. As soon as I saw the poster and the title, I'm like, I want to watch that movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. There, there was no like twisting of the arm here. We we're just kind of like, fuck, what this week? Let's yeah, do really. it. it sounds like, like our rally the troops. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> To let you know, we're not completely sold on not doing the prequel. Like, it's still on the back burner. The yeah, prequel nice. to Strip Club Massacre is potentially there. Sweet. But we, you know, well, being the Strip Club Massacre was our first film, we didn't mm. want to make our very next film. We didn't want to be like who, the Strip Club Massacre guys. We want, right. you know, yeah. we want to show that we had some range in the type of movies we do. So we didn't want to jump right into two of those real quick. So that's part of the reason we did that. Okay, know? cool. That's a good idea. That's a good way to like test the waters. This kind of yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess to kind of like follow up with that as well. Uh, your next movie, like outside of the strip club massacre universe, uh, is it still gonna be horror, or are you gonna be going into another genre? No, it's it's still horror. It's indie horror. Fuck yeah. Nice. Okay, good. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other thing too. Like, Devin, you're gonna see a lot more blood. 
Yay! Okay, awesome. yes. <laughs> um, I'll send you guys like a crate of blood. We'll just ship you off blood. Yeah. Is it real? Who knows? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Edison says hi. Cool. You heard it here, folks. Edison oh. checking in, saying hi. Do you have anything you want to say to Edison for when he edits this eventually? Make it sound good. Don't fuck it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not tell my editors for our movies. Like, don't fuck it up, man. Call me later. <laughs> don't fuck this up. <laughs> yeah. That's what we should do, yeah. Edison, don't fuck this up. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to edit me out. The whole yeah. thing. He's going to cut me right up. You're just going to hear, like, Terry's breath and then nothing else. Just. <laughs> <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> it's going to be great. Yeah, and then just me saying bye at the end. Yeah. Um, yeah, was, uh, for the new movie, are you guys going to uh, hit uh, Indiegogo again, or are you going to. Uh, like, I or? I don't think so. You know, we, we did Indiegogo for Shuffle Massacre, and we also we also pulled in a couple of investors um, to kind of help. But mm-hmm. you know, for for Bob and I, it was never a question of, oh no, if we if we can't get money from Indiegogo, are we going to be able to make this movie? It was always this movie is going to get fucking made. Yeah, right. Nice. Good. It just it you know. A little bit of the quality will depend on how you know how do how well we do you know raising some money. So mm-hmm. uh, I don't. We also pre-sold copies of the DVD just in house through our okay. website with a with a PayPal button. I mean, Sweet. you know, That's perfect cool. accountability and everything. And I think um, part of it was you know you do Indiegogo and you're giving them you're giving them nine percent of yeah. what yeah. you pull in. So it's kind of a chunk when you're trying to work on a movie that is by all accounts a micro budget, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you need everything I don't, you I don't, got. I don't, yeah. I don't know that well yeah, I don't know that we'll Indiegogo the next movie. Okay. But but we will probably do the pre ordering the D V D and maybe we'll even do a blue this time around because uh that it seemed it seemed to work better. I think people we were worried that people wouldn't feel comfortable you know, clicking on PayPal on our website when we had no track record because oh. you know first time mm-hmm. makers and and the indie horrors in on social media a very tight knit community. You know, yeah, yeah. 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 It was, we've been noticing so. that over the last little while. <laughs> so, but we will yeah, say that, exactly. And I will say that our the yes. next film will be a higher budget film. Okay. And <laughs> alongside whatever means we decide to go get money, whether it be Indiegogo or whatnot, we do have some investors that are ready to. Because they, they saw the reception that Strip Club Master got, and they're ready to give us a little more money. So, Hell yeah. the next film, if I get my City Master or D Plus Strip Club Master, I think our next film is going to be a solid B or A. Because I've got a vision this next film, and Bruce uh, shares the same vision, and you guys are going to love it. Sweet. Hell oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's really badass. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I mean, like. You know, we'll pre-order a DVD. Yeah, po- <laughs> we'll podcast stuff aside. Like, please keep us in the loop. Because, like, yeah. We For sure. Can... For sure. Definitely want to like, you know, have more more creator owned content kind of like this as well. And just like mm. Terry and I, like before the podcast even became a thing, um, we'd kind of like bounce ideas back and forth. And we were actually gonna like try to make a like a YouTube horror series. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. We. Oh. Yeah. Kind of just died. I don't know. It, just, it happens. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. So. I mean. It's probably for the better because you know, well I mean that with good intentions only in the fact of um, but you know like blood you know bloodbath and beyond like yeah the issue with YouTube I think now is they're starting to demonetize all the that all the people too. that yeah. all the people that they think are I guess um, the adpocalypse yeah <laughs> yeah exactly so like yeah. a lot you know I think you would have been fighting an uphill battle but mm-hmm. totally um, yeah. obviously obviously the you know being able to do it would be great and, and i get that for sure but you know maybe maybe it's for the better that it didn't happen that way because of what's going on, on youtube nowadays so oh yeah definitely yeah. yeah a lot of a lot of my favorite like horror youtubers and stuff they're mm-hmm. like having to do like patreon or like patreon shirts yep. now and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff so yeah it's, mm-hmm. it's slim pickings mm-hmm. now it's not the not the golden mm-hmm. it used to be yeah but now i mean like we yeah. started focus on the podcast and that's been like the most consistent which is also kind of rad so yeah yeah um but mm-hmm. like so that being said too have you guys ever had just to, you know throw a little bit of drama in the mix here um <laughs> since both of you wrote the movie <laughs> doing the, the jazzy hands uh for our <laughs> listeners who can't yeah, watch you can't me. See it. Um, <laughs> were, were there any ideas or scenes that the two of you like totally butted heads on we're just like um, absolutely oh, like no you will not use that amount of oatmeal 
in the scene. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. I don't. I don't think. I mean, there's times where he's like, "Dude, what the fuck is this?" And I'm like, "Me? What the scene you wrote?" But yeah. no, it was always, "We're we're the masters of passive aggressive." <laughs> You'd fit perfect up in Canada. It, <laughs> well, yeah, it's, no, no, but no. Honestly, I, I don't. I don't think we ever really butted head. I mean, it got to a point where like everything flowed pretty well. I mean, he may have had a different vision for a certain scene. Or maybe maybe the way he wrote the dialogue, I thought should have been diff- done different. But it was never a case to where like one of us finally had to say "fuck you," I'm doing it. We pretty much came to a middle ground in everything we did. Cool, well, that's awesome. That's plus, yeah. yeah, plus plus when you text, if you just put "lol" at the end, it makes everything okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that scene you wrote sucks dick. I hope it never makes the movie. Laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, we'll put it in then. <laughs> <laughs> Smiley face. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Um, I, you know, I think from the get-go, even um, Bob and I kind of, I guess, unofficially gr- agreed that you know, if a scene was shot or the dialogue was said a little bit differently than he or I wrote it or intended it, mm-hmm. we both knew that as long as we got what we wanted to get across, the point that we wanted to get across, mm-hmm. you know, if it varied a little bit or if it was a little bit more of what something that Bob wanted to do versus something that I felt we should have done a little bit differently. We both just said, you know, we're still getting the point across. Let's not, let's not be against each other because then, I mean, that's a whole new fucking world of, you know, of drama and, and of trouble. Mm-hmm. So we just always were like, eh, well, you know how I feel about it, but fuck it, let's do it your way, and it'll still get the point across. So and Bruce is exactly right because not only do you have the two writers that might butt heads, then you have every actress in the movie thinking she's a goddamn writer. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. No, they, they wrote a term paper one time in ninth grade, and they think they're damn whoever. But yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah they, somebody they, they somebody had to have my back, and Bruce is there, and I had his back. So we were at least a team together in that aspect. That's cool. cool. That's, yeah. that's, that's good. good. Yeah, probably helps you guys have been friends for three decades. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, well, <laughs> Bob always likes to make fun of me um, when I. But I think this is a. I think what I'm about to say plays a huge role in where we are now and and yes so we've known each other since we were like in single digit years living across the street from there living beside each other but but even more so you know like a few years ago um we we started reviewing horror movies and we had a website and we and we did it under real bloody reviews which later turned into real bloody films but so we started doing reviews and we had fun with it and we got to meet a lot of cool directors and stuff like that and it was cool but it never really kind of satisfied what we wanted to do so we said how can we how can we like? How can we put ourselves more into the horror genre? Mm-hmm. And so Bob has a marketing background, so we just started marketing to indie horror movies, and we we marketed a couple at some conventions, and <clears throat> it was fun still, and you know we had a good time doing it. But you know if you're on a small budgeted film, you don't exactly have part of that budget allotted to marketing, you know. Mm-hmm. So right, right. yeah. Um, so we it was kind of like a joke initially, but at some point Bob and I just said. What the fuck are we doing? Let's just make our own movie, and we don't. And that'll be like, that'll really be, you know, putting the proverbial dick inside of horror for us. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, the, so, reason I, the reason I came to the point of saying let's make our own because I go to these conventions or we meet these people who are quote filmmakers, and I'm like, if this douchebag can do it, I know I can. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> so anyway, that's that's, that's that's how we came. That's how we came to be. So I think it was a natural progression for us. So. Sweet. Yeah, sounds that's, like so. Sounds like it came about kind of organically, like yeah, mm. yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, uh, yep, nothing ever seemed forced. So that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So were there? Uh, you guys did a lot of marketing for other movies, did? And you met some movie makers and stuff. Was there any that we might know, or were they all like more kind of lower budget ones? Or uh, not ones necessarily. Not you know, been? when we were doing a horror movie, when we were doing the reviews, it was Bob and I's. Um, um, thought process that we just we're going to reach out to people on you know tw- twitter is a wonderful thing for that kind of thing yeah, yeah. So we were, <laughs> not, yeah. Um, not exactly throwing darts at a board but we'd watch movies on netflix and say why don't we just find this dude or this chick on twitter mm-hmm. and try to get them to do an interview or whatever the case but so anyway we came across you know the taking of deborah logan on netflix oh, yeah, yeah. Was, so adam robitel who is now doing insidious four and he's got a couple of things but we, we, well, I say met, virtually met him way back when that first released. No, and we, we got a chance to interview with him. And we also, um, there's a, 
Cheese Bob. I'm trying to think um, who else. Oh, the guy, yeah. David, David Bob Mitchell, who did It Follows. Yeah. So, oh, yes. oh, fuck. Oh, what? Really? And this guy, yeah, we actually, <laughs> actually like, reviewed It Follows, yeah. what, a month and a half before the theater release, I think it was? Mm. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, wow, just, it, was, it was like, we didn't do anything specific other than we just sent these guys messages and we're like, hey, we're, you know, we're, we're just two dudes, you know, and this is what we want to do and we would love to just be able to email you an interview or anything that you can do. Mm-hmm. Whatever, you know, whatever we can do to accommodate possibly being able to get, you know. So that that's, yeah, that's how it started and we got to, you know, talk to, to those guys and um, um, there's a, oh geez, Bob, where's this movie? You guys heard of this movie called um, um, <laughs> Be My Cat, a film for Anne? Have you guys heard a scene of that? No. 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 It's um, it's the first ever found footage Romanian film, which really, really, it's sound, yeah, it sounds very obscure. But anyway, like, oh, yeah. um, they, they got it sorted. <laughs> it's, it's the first this found is, footage film in Romania filmed in October on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Their first camera. But no, it's a great. It's actually a great film. Go ahead. The dude, the, yeah, no, the dude did a found footage horror film. Of him playing himself as a director, okay. who was in, he was interviewing actresses for a fake movie he was shooting to send to Anne Hathaway in America and say, "I really want to work with you in a movie. Look at what I did acting and producing this movie with these three girls mm-hmm. to try to convince Anne Hathaway to do a horror movie with him." And it's all <laughs> so it's all found footage. It's like it's so fucking meta. It's like Whoa. Inception, 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 like three times over. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, you know. But the, the chicks the... actually look like Anne Hathaway. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, one, of them, one of them, actually, one of them especially did. The... Yeah, so in, the, in, the three... course, in the course of him auditioning these three girls in okay. this found footage, he ends up torturing and killing them because they fuck up his scenes. And he's uh, so like, yeah. he's like, As he's he like, do. you're going to fucking embarrass me in front of Anne Hathaway, you know? And so he just fucking offs them. And it's all, it's, yeah, it's like a found footage within a, I mean, it's so crazy, but um, I'm glad it was. You that because he actually just released his signed DVDs. And you know, Bruce, did you order one? They're on the way. Uh, oh, did, are they? Good. He emailed me two weeks ago. Our, our DVDs should be on the way like any day now from Romania. So awesome. I'll probably get it in 2019. So, <laughs> some, some dude on a donkey will roll up to you. It's, it's, it's still a VHS. It's a bottle though. right now floating across the Atlantic. <laughs> It's it's up some goat's ass right now, probably somewhere <laughs> trying to say that. But I think uh, I guess my point to all that was this dude. Like we we were able to talk to him and review the movie before it even came out in America. Mm-hmm. So when it when it hit the streets in the U.S., it, it kind of helped us in the fact of like, hey, we did this. You know, this is the first review before yeah. you see it anywhere else, before you read it anywhere else. So that's actually, a really we were actually we were the first two people in America to see it, like straight up. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Dude, that's really cool. So, yeah, yeah. It's a, just random. But yeah, those, so we, we definitely had some good opportunities when we were doing the film reviews and, and going to the con- the conventions along the East Coast mm. um, are just phenomenal for me- meeting people. So yeah. You guys get a lot cool. over on that side, don't you? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, yeah man. Get, like, it's, I mean... <laughs> well, <laughs> we just get like the B cast of Flash at every <laughs> well, convention, yeah. it seems well, like. In Vancouver <laughs> and like... I know Calgary has a horror convention, yeah. um, but the nearest horror convention to us is Crypticon in Seattle. Yeah. And other than that, I don't think there really is anything else. Yeah. I was, you know, I was gonna, yeah. I was gonna ask you guys about that because, and forgive my lack of knowledge of Canadian geography. Oh, don't you worry. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll make up for it with Ginger Snaps discussions here shortly. But yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna get into that. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, um, so I don't know how big Vancouver is, but that's like a major industry hub in Canada, right? Vancouver. It's, it's so much shit is shot there, TV shows and movies alike. Oh, right? Yeah, so, yeah. It's they call it Hollywood. So North, for yeah. <laughs> yeah, so for you guys that are there and trying to do, you know, try, do, not trying to, sorry, but doing the podcast and everything, has that like, have you found that you have like maybe like an I guess an inn that you wouldn't normally have anywhere else, or no. is it something that you guys <laughs> start to? Start a, not. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how accessible it is because I don't know the size. So. I work in retail at like a small boutique that does really specialty clothing, like corsets and st- and capes and stuff. So I actually talk nice. to a lot of people that do like wardrobe, and they come in and buy. They'll come in and be like, "We need six of these, right?" Like yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Uh, like once upon a time. Once upon or a whatever, time, and... and like Arrow and Flash and Van Helsing and nice. stuff like that, right? But yeah. um, they don't know anybody. They're, <laughs> I don't know. They're, yeah, they're, they're... I talk to most of them, and they're like, "Oh, we used to work at uh, Reitman's, or you know, or like 
Nordstrom's or something, and then we got, you know, yeah. somebody yeah. hired us. A lot, <laughs> like, of, <okay. laughs> a lot of people are pretty tight-lipped about that sort of stuff here. Um, okay. mm-hmm. Although yeah, everybody right. knows somebody who's been an extra. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah we know lots of extras. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's <laughs> for here in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For Bob living in Atlanta, and they shoot The Walking Dead just outside of Atlanta. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Like, a buddy of mine, a buddy of mine, played on The Walking Dead. No, a buddy, you're sat in a tent for twelve hours. They walked by this camera once. Yeah, oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> to get free food at least, and made fifty-five dollars. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I've, done, I've done dumber shit for fifty-five bucks. I mean, that's true. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, that. I, I have spent fifty-five bucks on dumber shit, so I have yeah. to lose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I mean, we we know a couple you people like bump like, into celebrities more than yeah, you plan yeah. to. Yeah. And oh that, yeah. That doesn't sound like you know, like if you go to Whole Foods or something, you're probably gonna run into like soccer players. The soccer players all the time, or like um, the guy who plays Arrow. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's always buying. Arrow and the Flash are just fucking. You know, Mr. Arrow. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Arrow. Yeah. Mr. Arrow. <laughs> Captain Arrow Mint. <laughs> One of those other nice. comics guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, but I mean, there's not really too many. So. We know a bunch of people that do voiceover. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, the there's a little voice, awesome. fun. Yeah. voice yeah. actors up yeah. here. Yeah. Um, and and uh, my brother's an cool. animator as well. Yeah. yeah. So we know a lot of people who work kind of behind the scenes, but not a lot of like, uh, not a lot of the higher up like the producer. I met director, one of the animators kinda... from Metalocalypse. That was exciting for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's cool. Very yeah. Cool. And then, like, he ran away before he could give him the card. Be like, Metal Ox is kind of horror. We'll, we'll find a way to... to... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anyone. I just drew the cartoon. Like, that's still cool. <laughs> we need you. For sure. Totally. So, um, but, I mean, like, I I think we have to agree with you. Twitter is, like... Twitter is great. Like, way more of a direct line than... Than we even thought. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Show that you get. Do you get follow us on Twitter, like, personally? Yep, or just the real blood. Uh, oh, not we don't, wait. Like, Gatoro follows Twitters. you. I don't have a Twitter for me myself. I have an Instagram. That's about it. Oh. Yeah. And, mm. I always thought Twitter was garbage until I took over the Gatoro <laughs> Twitter, and now I'm like, oh, this is yep. really cool. Yeah. Once you get the hang of Twitter, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I I don't remember if I do. I think I do. Yeah, and I think especially when you're trying to when you're trying to push art, you know, whether it's your own or someone else's, I think. Mm-hmm. To not take advantage of social media is, you know, I guess, yeah. taking one taking one foot out from under you. So it totally is, yeah. 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 You're like... No, I've um, yeah, like I said, I've always been more of an Instagram boy myself. Um, mm. that's because like I do art, art as well. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, what... I was gonna say I, I've seen yeah because I've looked at your Instagram and like a lot of drawings, a lot of pretty fucking cool drawings. Oh, for sure. so, <laughs> thank you. Nice. Yeah, man. Cool. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, yeah, yeah. I, but like, if, I, I think I follow you guys on Instagram for sure. But I'm I'm following you on Twitter right now. <laughs> yeah. I just, uh, we, did, uh, we also personally uh, tweet like I'm I'm real bloody Bob. And real I bloody Bob. Nice. Funny, Bruce Kilroy. Uh, yeah, I had to really get um, unique and, and and ingenious with my handle as it is just my first and last name. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a f- as pretty as Devin knows as is my Gmail. You know, it's like I just keep everything like keep it simple. Uh, <laughs> Well, that, yep, that's the other thing I'm too. Like with with the real last name of Kilroy, you probably have a bunch of people just like ah, big sticks fan, gotcha. Yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Domo Arigato, am I right? Like <laughs> exactly. Uh, there we go. I got Bob too. Sweet, awesome. Oh, fuck, I need to stop punching everyone's wires. Here, I'll, I'll keep the wires. <laughs> there. there we go. <laughs> cool. All right. So we need we need to ask. We need to ask as well. Since we're, we're still talking talking about your movie, because you guys made a movie, yeah. and that's fucking rad. What do you know? Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I, so, I noticed in certain scenes, you, for like, especially the gore and everything like that, uh, you switched over to like, it looked like medical footage. What are you talking about? What? Like when, okay, when, when, uh, mm-hmm. the girl was... It was the eye gouging scene. The eye gouging scene, yeah. It was the eye gouging scene. There was... It, like, it was like a zoomed in. It looked like a surgery video. Yeah. I just had it. It was stock footage I had. I said, uh, just fucking use it here. Sweet. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it, it's just basically, yeah, it was open source stock footage that we just said, you know, let's let's try to, you know, 
let's let's not be afraid to try to beef up where we felt like we had an opportunity to kind of throw something kind of sketchy out there, something mm-hmm. kind of gritty. So yeah, Bob Bob totally was like, let's just fuck it. Yeah. Something it's I'm busy. proud of you guys don't know is when the so you know she walks in, her boys banging her roommate, and they mm-hmm. send her to a hotel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So before she walks into the hotel room, you see the outside of the hotel. Yeah. Yep. That's actually a photograph of a hotel that we jazzed up and made look like it was a real hotel. It was oh, just no a picture way. we found on my phone. <laughs> what? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. no, one, no one that's seen the knows that. Even the people that are in the film that weren't there shooting, like, oh, where's the hotel at? And I'm like, ah, uh, Google. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not here. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's super cool. Damn. Um, the re- the reason why Devin doesn't remember that specific scene is because she actually had to turn away. Oh, that's <laughs> and, fair. And yeah. Not watch. <laughs> oh, really? oh, man. So, congratulations on that guy. <laughs> yeah, that was right on. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, wait till the next film. Yes. Yeah, oh well, my I can't god. Wait. Yeah. You won't um, even see it. Like, what was that about? Wanted <laughs> <laughs> to look at the whole, look at it the whole time. It's like I kept hearing it was good. I just I just turn around the whole movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But also, like, <laughs> I don't like eye stuff. I, <laughs> I don't. I like toe stuff. I can't do toe stuff. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> not so much toe stuff. That's between, great. It's between the toes. But oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> like when Jackass, when Jackass took the Manila envelopes and was cutting between their toes, oh, like paper cuts. Yeah, like, no. it actually hurts me now thinking about it. I'm fucking squirming right now. <laughs> And again, not in a like right. boy moist way, like in a like, oh fuck, yeah. I hate that. Right. <laughs> well, now that I know that, Bob, <laughs> just, sorry, just nothing but toe stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're about to butt heads on a scene. Yeah, toe stuff. Yeah, you guys interview us again in six months and see. All right, here's Terry and Devin. Fuck Bruce. Yeah, fucking. Swan dove off of a parkade because he can't handle Bruce. Yeah, that fucking. Bruce, that fucking hack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I assume you guys made made quite a bit of the the blood and the the special effects and stuff like that too. Do you have any any fun gore recipes like blood recipes that you? Use? Yeah, I was gonna ask. Yeah, because some of your the blood and gore was pretty awesome. Yeah, the, the, the chunky <laughs> the recipe for blood was great. Yeah. The, the brick face. Honestly, the the um. The teeth cut scene where they're cutting the girl's teeth out. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was actually we we had found like this mouthpiece, like I guess almost like you wear for football, but it was more flesh color or gum colored. Okay. And okay. what we did was we actually bought a fake skeleton and we popped the teeth out and glued them or put them inside the mouthpiece. So the girl put it on, and it looked as if it was her real teeth. Oh, That's cool. how we did that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The pretty, our our effects artist did a great job. We were there like how do we do this. She goes, I got an idea, because I only had like 40 bucks to spend on it. She goes, oh, we got this. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cost us like $28. I'm like, all right, cool, let's go. That's right. That's so cool. That's, so cool. Yeah. that's, that's one of the things that's though you got to love about practical effects. You know, mm-hmm. like, so much CG is going on nowadays, and they're, you know, you definitely need to be creative for that, but some of the coolest creative shit comes out of necessity and like, yeah. you oh, know, totally. limits. You know? Like, yeah. Right. Yeah, so cool. Seriously. There's a little hint also that the uh, the guy that gets ass raped by the pink dildo yep. <laughs> yeah is actually my young it's oh, actually yeah, yeah. my younger brother <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, the uh, the uh, the Asian bartender who takes over after the other one goes disappears yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's my sister oh my yeah. really <laughs> yeah that's my right. way. so we flew her in from Vermont for a day to shoot that film that scene sent her back home so. oh that's, that's awesome that's, that's yeah. super cool so. <laughs> no way but, that's awesome. I mean, that's. I think that's what you said. Like, you, well, a lot of things you do out of just straight up necessity. And so, mm-hmm. yeah, for me and Bob from the get go, we said no matter what, this film is going to come out. And if it if it sucks ass, it's still going to be a completed, full length feature film. You know, the, obviously the goal is to not make it suck ass. But yeah, we <laughs> yeah. yeah we pulled out. We pulled out every stop we could, and we, you know, we shot several. Lo- what what is several locations in the movie are actually just different rooms in the same house. Nice. Okay. Cool. We just oh, yeah, yeah. we just had a lot of good uh, people and props and stuff. So, so is that like a, a rental space, or do you just have like like, like a buddy's house? Like, bu- buddy house who's or... got like way I had a, too much I had a money. Very, very, very wealthy friend. Okay. Ah, sweet. Nice. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, uh, actually, it's, it was every house scene was shot in her house, 
-hmm. and the pool party scene and the rape scene were all shot in the same house. Oh, okay. 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 Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Good use of set. <laughs> yeah, totally. Also, like, good honor yeah, totally. for, like, having totally different looking rooms, too. Because I know with a lot of people, it's like, their house, you can tell, it's like, oh, this is just one house. But for, for that, so just, yeah. like, like, spruce it up a little well, bit. Well, she like, legit, seriously, I think she had six or seven bedrooms to choose from. So I purposely made sure I went, and I seriously, I, went, I purposely made sure I went through the rooms and was like, all right, these look nothing alike. Yeah. Let's use these. So, because I've seen the same thing you just discussed, and cool, we tried to avoid that at all costs. That's awesome. awesome. That's yeah. really good. That's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. And also, the girl that got her teeth cut out, and my brother that got his throat cut in the woods, was also shot in her backyard. <laughs> it was just in the backyard. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. That's awesome. That's, that's really cool. Not many people just have full-on ravines uh, in their backyard. So that's, yeah. that's yeah. pretty, that's pretty good. legit. That was her backyard. Nice. Oh, wait, nice. Wow. <laughs> cool. So we uh, another thing I'm gonna just kind of ask to and throw out there. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of things had like guerrilla style filming where it's like okay, it's nighttime. You can't really scream too loud. Um, yeah, you don't you want know. to get the cops called on you. Yeah. Did do you have anything like that happen? Like any blue and red siren or flashing lights pull up no, on you? No, uh, the only the only gorilla thing we did was the hotel room scene. Just her on the phone and shot her. That's the only place that didn't know we were shooting. Oh. Um, everything oh, wow. else, the strip the strip club actually they were closed on Sundays, mm -hmm. and they oh, would nice. just give us access on Sunday. They would just let us come in and do whatever. And they, they were like, use our alcohol, like, like whatever you want to do. You do. that's so accommodating, and damn. They, oh they, yeah, <laughs> they were they were actually those guys were great. The, you know the other thing is because the the club was closed on Sundays. A lot of times we were showing up at six, seven, eight a.m. So all oh. so a lot of those strip club scenes. It's, like so fucking early, like <laughs> way, way too early to be intentionally going to a strip club um, so on a I, Sunday. I, what? I, I think when you're, I think when you're making the point about like kind of subdued screams and stuff, mm -hmm. I think A was early, and I think B, you know, I think when you have a uh, cast that's not super experienced, I think you get a little bit of inhibition. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, um, that's fair. Yeah. So yeah. I think I think that's what you probably noted more noticed more than it being like us trying to like do things on the sly. So. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of wondering because yeah, it it wasn't it wasn't like um, it wasn't a thing that took us out of the immersion either. No, no, I didn't even just, notice. Yeah, it was one of those like <laughs> we're kind of like. like I mean, there's a couple of parts where it was like it was like especially the guy that was like squirming around getting her eyeball guy. She's like, no, stop it. <laughs> so, I think I think one of the most I think one of the most hidden gems making our film though was, do you remember the character Cliff, the guy with the mustache? Yeah, oh my yes. god! Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking William Murder. All right, so yeah. I've talked to so many people that's like he's our he was the most favorite character. He is a regular. <laughs> he's a regular at a bar that I would go to like four times a week and drink beer. Yeah, and I was there talking about the movie. He's like, "Hey man, I just want to help out. I just want to help out." So he just started being like our audio, like holding our boom mic. Oh, so dude. finally, but like, this dude would show up at six in the morning. He'd film till two a.m. and I wasn't paying him, wasn't doing anything for him. So finally, one day we're in the strip club. I'm like, "Hey man, you want to be in a scene?" He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Let's let's write a scene real quick." Cool. So we actually just on the spot wrote that scene, and it was so fucking hilarious. So we just <laughs> kept it. Oh, that's no awesome. Way. He was pretty yeah. great, too. Yeah, he was a bit of a scene stealer. He had a, yeah. like, he had a mm. unique look and just his... It's a mustache. So yeah. yeah. that's, that's just how he dresses? Yeah. Actually, that's actually, that's actually yeah, that is what he wore. That's actually what he wore. That so is, what you saw him in was him. That's, My, awesome, that's yeah. amazing. Like, that is so fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because it's one of those yeah. things where I'm like, I'm pretty sure most people just kind of came in like, like their own clothes are just like okay can you go through your wardrobe and look for this and you know show up like that yeah. I, would um, tell, I would tell people bring you know bring three or four shirts bring a hat bring a couple of jackets that way you can mix them up and move them around the club in different times but yeah yeah, yeah it's pretty yeah. much just bring what you got cool nice, yeah. yeah he was he was pretty fucking great just yeah. like <laughs> just bored patron at a strip club with like the best mustache <laughs> yeah i was yeah. Yeah. Mustache. they kept fucking up yeah. <laughs> that was great, yeah. Also, I love how, like, in the world, too, he goes to the strip club so much that he's invited to the personal party of the owner. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. So, all right, so in the, in the pool party scene, yeah. notice no woman's in the pool. Oh, yeah, you're right. Like, 
Because it was like 50 degrees outside and the water was like 40 degrees. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering that too. I was like, that must be a. Uh... It must be like too cold or like super hot or something. something. <laughs> and you know what we did? What we did in that scene was actually throw a pool party and cook and just walk around and take footage. That's all we did. Nice. There were certain nice. scenes with like the main girls with like with Jazz and Megan and them that we told them to do certain things. Mm -hmm. But ninety five percent of that was just, hey guys, we're having a party. Come, we're gonna film you. Sign this release form. That was it. Okay, cool. No way. That's cool. Well, that's the best way to like have it look natural too. Yeah, like, yeah, totally. absolutely. Yeah, luckily yeah. with that scene, like nothing looked forced. Everyone did look like they were having fun. So that was that yeah, was... it looked like it was a legit, it yeah. was just a party. <laughs> so, so I'm a really out of place guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a really out of place guy. Yeah, was, I was like, why did we use that entire rap song? Yeah. <laughs> so I thought yeah, it was like a, too, a licensing yeah. thing with the song. Yeah. It's like, okay, you can use this song, well, but you got to play it in full. The yeah. reason, I'll, I'll uh, tell you this, we got very lucky. We were able to do some things for our low budget in the fact that we did not pay a penny for any song in the film. Not nice. once. Like, wow. all the rap songs, is actually a guy I went to high school with that oh, nice. he, owns, he owns like this small record label, rap record label, Augusta. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I was trying to find rap music. He sent me a private message. He's like, BC. He's like, whatever you need, man. Here's my entire catalog. Just let me know. I'm like, Holy all right, fuck. cool. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. That was badass. That's okay, really cool. cool. That's yeah. Cool. You and like and the, um, the opening track is actually called Strip Club Massacre. And it was total luck that there's a, there was a metal band out of Arizona. Mm -hmm. And someone somehow saw our film on Facebook and tagged them and said, look at this. These guys are making a movie called Strip Club Massacre. And so... I started poking around and looking at the the band's Facebook mm -hmm. page, and they they were just coming out with that song called Strip Club Massacre. And I Whoa. messaged them and I said, "If you guys like this is for real, if you guys want to like, I saw, I straight up told them before I even told Bob, I said, I'll give you guys the opening credit, like the title track opening credits. Yeah, if we can if we can use your song and use the, I mean, because I mean, not that I I don't think we tried to like fool anybody, but to have the 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 name of the song be the name of the movie was like. It's so yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we it was like we the just, best coincidence. <laughs> exactly. So we said, you know, we can't pay. We're a really small, you know, entity, but we'll give you the t we'll give you the opening credits, the title track, if we can use your, your you know your song. And they have been nothing but cool to us since. So yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's that's American. awesome. We like so, the opening credit song. Yeah, yeah, we love that. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> we're, oh fuck yeah, we're, 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 we're Bob, all metalheads. So. Slightly Bob on the fought it a little so. bit. Yeah. Bob, Bob did fight it a little bit, but I said, <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I fought a little bit. I wanted a more a more gritty. Yeah, but then, but then after I heard it, we put it over the open credits. I'm like, okay, it fits. It, it no, yeah, it, 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 it good, totally yeah. fit. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, it worked. That was that was cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear that so many so many different people like really wanted to help contribute to mm -hmm. this project being finished. Was, you know, like put in all their different work and stuff like that. Yeah, it's so cool. That's it was it was to definitely a massive group effort for sure. I mean, Sweet. yeah, so many people just. Let's help. What, how, what can we do? You know, so. Cool. Yeah. No, awesome. no one was like, like, you know, I guess, no one really intentionally tries to like shit on the plans of a thing like that either. But like, it, it sounds like there is, there's probably hiccups for sure, but it sounds like it more or less kind of, <laughs> more or less kind of. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just going to put that right there. <laughs> I, think most of, I think most of the hiccups occurred in post. In post? Yeah. yeah oh, well, yeah. I guess in post and the, events leading up to what occurred during the post, which was, of course, you know, promoting the movie, going to conventions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Screen, we screened the film in a theater in Atlanta. Oh, cool. um, so I think that's, that's really when we had a little bit of, a eh, little bit of, a little bit of um, crispiness with some folks, but yeah. nothing, nothing that hasn't already been repaired and, and all as well. But yeah, I think I, I don't give a shit about every, yeah, every, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was excited enough to be involved in the film that no one really threw a shit fit about much of anything. So cool. That's well, I, you know what, Bruce? You know what's funny, Bruce? Is this is something we did writing this script, and it's I think we've done about seven or eight interviews now, and this is a little piece of trivia that we've never released. I don't know why we've never done this. Okay. Ooh. Every person in the film that dies, their character name is someone that Bruce and I dislike in real life. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. Oh my god. I thought this was going to be one of those, like, everyone that died in the movie died, died in life. real. <laughs> like, oh, oh my god, god. are we accomplices yeah. now? It was low we... budget, man. Got to do it for the art. Take one for the team, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. When, when, we wrote the, when we wrote the script, we sat out and said, who do we fucking hate that we want to die? And that's what we're going to name them. <laughs> so, and then... Um, even even like the addresses and stuff like when Megan's giving her address over the phone to the facility, you know, yeah. that address that address is just kind of a, a, a melting pot of the address and the streets that Bob and I used to live on when we were kids. So oh, that's cool. <laughs> no way. this no is, way. yeah, and, but, and the year we met, 1990 was the year we met. So 1990, Ashton Wood dropped. Oh, oh wow! Nice. <laughs> Holy crap! Sweet, yeah. that's so cool. I mean, so, I guess like, especially for like things like that, that's when you can kind of play around with like with the most of, like, the little, little details. It's like, yeah, it's mm. date we met and street we grew up on. Or, like, we need a, a name for this guy. Fucking blank. <laughs> yeah, this Thank asshole. Yeah. <laughs> 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 can't use last I do want to see if you guys, I definitely want to see if you guys can pick up on the Easter egg that we're dropping in the next film. It's, I mean, it's, when I say it's a very, very minor Easter egg, it, I don't, I bet you less than 10% of people are going to pick up on it. Okay. What would okay. you think, Bruce? Well, I don't want to make it so obscure that people are like, "What the fuck is that so right. saying?" But, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's definitely very slight, but the reference is unique enough that yeah, you, you can tie it. So it's a really it was small almost reference, like a wonderful but... reference. You're like, why would like yes, yeah, it's, it's a part of the script on Massacre. You're like, what the fuck is what? And then in our film, <laughs> it'll bring it full circle. Okay, okay, sweet, ah, sweet, cool. Fuck, I can't oh, wait man. for this movie. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there like a, a little bit of a like preemptive release date, yeah, or is it still kind of like, like still? No, no. As, as a part of the film, it's uh it's like something a character in the film says about someone. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, like when part two Wait. or the second movie is coming out, like how how far along are oh, you no, guys? No. Oh, uh, we're writing it now. We're we're writing it now, and okay. I think it's every intention for me and Bob to. I don't know. I mean. I, I would like to. Be, I want to start shooting by. I want to start shooting by August, September. That's my goal. Cool. Sweet. I mean, that's my goal. Hell yeah. Um, I've got a couple. We've got a couple of people already cast for it. Um, there's a few okay. things got to tie up and whatnot. Got a location scout, but um, we haven't given this little tidbit yet. But the film. Imagine a gritty, dirty, as messed up as you can think horror film that's like rounder meets hostile. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh, damn. So I guess we are getting some foot trauma in that. All right. Good. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Shit's- <laughs> shit, yeah, shit may get toe up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll be the tagline for the movie. Um, Watch your yeah. toes. <laughs> Shit's about to get toe up. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, man. if we could be, I think if we could be, I, I'm, I think if we could be filming before the end of the year, I mean, that's, mm. I think that's definitely feasible. So we'll just have to. <laughs> Sweet. That's yeah, cool. I, 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 we, we have to. I don't. I don't think it's uh, any kind of a secret, but because we have people that potentially want to invest, they also want to see how Strip Club Massacre does. And mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, Strip Club Massacre has only been out for a month now, and and so far so good. But you know, we gotta we gotta prove a little bit of our worth to make sure that all the stars align correctly. But right, right, right enough, I yeah. think I think Bob and I both feel pretty confident that it's really not a matter of I hope we can make another movie. It's let's just go. Let's let's get fucking going and get you know. So. Yeah. Exactly. Sweet. Yeah. Definitely. So, yeah. Now that we know it's doable, you know, I mean, we we knew we were going to make Strip Club Massacre come hell or high water, and you know, we did. Thank goodness, and, and mm-hmm. we we're somehow fortunate enough to get picked up for distribution, which was amazing. So yeah. now now that we know it's totally within the realm of possibility, I think that's I think it's all he and I want to do now because we. You know, we have nine to fives, you know, yeah. so um, that's yeah. why, that's why I'm always like, can we please do this at night, please? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, not at 7 a.m. on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was exactly. there anything from Strip Club Massacre that, like, you're like, oh, we men, we fucked up so hard with this one thing that we won't do with the next, or like, you know, like. Um, yeah, did you learn uh, a lot? I'll be honest, I, I, I wish. I wish I could have had a higher body count in Strip Club Massacre. Okay. okay. I also I also wish that we would have put more blood on the girls during the massacre than the ones that were. I go back and watch it now. Like you can't even like really see they're bloody. And part of that was my fault for not them. Okay. 
mm-hmm. for, you know, I, I was on such a low budget, and everyone was like working for that low pay, and everyone was so out there that sometimes I would let them kind of get things the way they wanted it rather than force them to do my vision. But I was so right. scared of somebody walking off quitting, and then now, okay, we've already shot 80% of the movie, and our lead actress just left. Yeah. So yeah, I had, it was, it was kind of like treading thin ice, but the next film – this it's gonna be me and Bruce's vision one hundred percent and sweet. Major Ooh, difference. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Where like, you know, if it's your first your first shot, you're not gonna be quite as like aggressive or not not aggressive, but like um exactly. authoritative. Authority yeah, I yeah, guess yeah, yeah you're not, you're not gonna <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah. have the have Yeah, the, you just be as accommodating as possible to you don't want yeah, anything yeah. you don't want anything to potentially yeah. shit on your trying to make a movie you know so yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, your first shot yeah. you don't want it to get <clears throat> that's the thing like one negative thing is gonna like cause way more damage than like 10 positive things are gonna fix so yep, that's true. yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> so, i mean i yeah full-on get that there's there's a lot of times too where it's just like or we were even just like, oh my god, Edison cut this in post. <laughs> don't, I, we need to take that out. Yeah, and we, think, and we um, let a lot through. <laughs> yeah. The drunk casts are fucking minefields for us. It's terrible. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Like, yeah. You know, um, Bob, Bob and I never really, never really had the ability to record a... Um, um, uh, commentary for the film, mm-hmm. but I gotta tell you guys, this has been. Hold on, I'm sorry. Are you guys getting an echo? A bad delay? Yeah, yeah a little bit. Echo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sure it's yeah, just momentary. Um, we never got a chance to record a commentary for the film, but I gotta yeah. say this this podcast interview has been so much fun, and you guys have n- not by any uh, not for any particular, but you guys have have. Um, Jesus, what am I even trying to say? <laughs> I'm, I'm already I blushing. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, you guys have gotten Bob and I to talk about things that we've not talked about anywhere else because we just feel so good about hanging out with you guys. And I swear to you, if we could record an hour and a half podcast, like even cut, like I could just slide that in as a fucking commentary for the film. And oh, dude. Would that'd be rad. People would absolutely love it. So. No, uh, that'd we'll, be wonderful. Yeah. We'll send you the... We'll send finish. you this episode. Just yeah, throw, if you want to yeah. throw it in, throw it in. I'm. Well, what, what we're trying to do, we're, we've been talking to the distribution company about a commentary for the for the film. Yeah, um, sweet. But one thing we're also trying to do is try to get a limited blue out of someone like, you know, Shutter or Screen Factory or something. Yeah. I mean, not not shoot for the stars or anything, but <laughs> um, still, I mean, that would be really cool. Yeah, I, yeah. I'd buy a blue. Right so now. if if we can get a blue, a limited blue with somebody, we're gonna definitely try to make some sort of commentary to put on it mm-hmm. and i just i feel like of course bob will he'll correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like this has just been so much fun we could just put this podcast as the fucking commentary <laughs> the and it would be it would be golden and we could put your original review podcast on it as well it's, i just i guess my point or being, we could just re- sorry um, or just sorry. the one night we'll all just film and come in together that would be fun if we all watched it together. Oh my god, yeah. Dude, yeah. Oh, oh my god. I, I'd, be, to... I'd be down. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. So, uh, all, yeah, all that to also just um, um, repeat the fact that you guys, you guys have just been so cool. And I, Dude, I listened so to the podcast the day that it came out, and I texted Bob, and I'm like, these motherfuckers get us so good. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> like, Better than anybody has gotten us at this point for the movie. So yeah, cool. just wow. totally, totally happy that we have just clicked on so much with you guys. So well, thank you. That's yeah, awesome. we feel yeah, the you exact guys same way. Awesome yeah. yeah, like yeah, holy it's, shit. It's been a very yeah. effortless oh, interview. Yeah. I was really yeah. nervous. The title of the movie is Drawing Dead. That's the working title for next film. Drawing Dead. Drawing Dead. When we get that done, guys, feel free to maybe fly down for the premiere or something. Oh, that'd be that'd rad. Be, oh, that would be man. sweet, actually. That would be super freaking awesome. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. Should we talk about Ginger Snaps now? Yeah. Let's, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that was like, the, the first Bob, thing. <laughs> Bob, will, Bob will never understand my love for werewolves, specifically. Oh, um, man, I love werewolves so much. <laughs> I, I mean, Ginger Snaps is oh, it's so good. I actually... <laughs> Have I you would seen almost, all three? 
I would almost argue that the second one is better is the best one of the trilogy. I was about to say that. Yeah, yeah. I definitely I did like the second one a bit more for sure. Yep. Yeah. That one was Yep. Oh, I was that at, got so good. <laughs> I was at a pool party for like a twelve year old and then they're like, Let's watch Ginger Snaps too. I wasn't twelve. Yes. I was there with like <laughs> Right, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so they put it in, and there's that masturbation scene. With the yoga? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm was... like, oh my god. <laughs> Avert your eyes, children. <laughs> I'm getting yeah. fired yeah, from this babysitting I, job. I like it. And uh, Ghost, Ghost was so cool. That's That was um, Tatiana Maslany, right? So, And yes. she's she's in Black, she does Black Mirror now, right? Isn't that the name of it? No. I, no, Orphan Black, sorry. Orphan Black, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah um, cool. Yeah, but she's Ghost, and also... Gosh, how old is that movie? And and she had a, a personal to me, but she was uh, making comments in the movie about her being gluten free, which I think is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. like, like long before it was chic, and and uh, I've been gluten free for like ten years, so I always get a kick out of that kind of thing. Really? Eh? Oh yeah, yeah. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, was some members of my family actually like like it's not like like I know it's kind of like you said it's kind of chic to be gluten free. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like a couple of members of my family medically have to be. So they're anytime yep. anyone's like gluten, I'm gluten free. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> no, you yeah. eat your fucking pizza, Terry. <laughs> yeah, you friend, yeah just... no, I, I I thought I was for the longest time, but I just had like a bunch of Other crap stuff. in my system. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a sad yeah. tummy. Yes, yeah, I do. Yeah, but, yeah, I, th- I definitely think Ginger Snaps back is better. Um, but mm. I, the, yeah, best one of the trilogy for sure. And then I don't mind the fact that they went like old school for the third one the you know the the way prequel yeah yeah, yeah the, the, i know, feel there's like kinda... only two ways you can especially like it wasn't like a like horror movies for that time if they were doing like a sequel or prequel or anything like that, they were either gonna go either way back in time mm-hmm. or to space <laughs> So, Jason X style, yeah, yeah, yeah like Hellraiser X- bloodlines, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Leprechaun <laughs> Four on the moon yeah. for some reason, yeah, yeah. Um, so I mean, like it, could, like space werewolves have been kind of neat. Actually, shit, coining that now, space werewolves, the animated <laughs> <Yeah>. adventures, um, <laughs> that could be better, be better, that'd be, that'd be cool yeah. for sure. Um, yeah, but it's like, yeah, I guess you kind of have to go with like where wolf. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of the time you think yeah. werewolves, you think, like, really old school, like, Van Helsing-y kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Or Michael J. Fox. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> true. True story. Yeah. Apparently, um, one of the extras in that movie just straight up had his dick out. What? In what? Teen Wolf. Oh, in Teen <laughs> was Wolf. It, was oh. it, um... <laughs> why, do I, why do I feel like it was, like, a kid maybe in the basketball stand? Yeah, the it was a kid in the basketball stand. Yeah, he, yeah. At the very end of the movie, during the closing credits, is like Peckers is like, or his his zipper's like way undone. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> what? And his pre, his preteen wolf is showing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mid transformation, like just whiskers. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god. my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, was, wolf. that was a weird little bit of trivia I heard today. Go figure. Like, yeah, right. didn't expect Teen Wolf or Werewolves to <laughs> come up as much, but yeah, dick out Teen Wolf. Check it out, I guess. Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Someone better quote that shit. Dick out Teen dick Wolf. Out, team dick wolf. out Teen yeah, Wolf. Yeah, that'll, that'll be on the Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, have, we'll have that quoted. That's one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get it's, some. It's oh. funny how that's a thing now. Like you guys, like especially when we did the drunk cast a few weeks ago. Oh yeah. Uh, that one hasn't come out yet, but we got trash. We got we really drunk, and then nice. <laughs> Terry would say something funny, and then he's like, "Quote that in Instagram." Yeah. <laughs> did I really? Yeah. yeah well, you were no. lying on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I lie down a lot when I drink. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in a vulnerable state. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's get some other 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 favorite werewolf type movies, or even like comics. Did do you yeah. were you big kind of like like more graphic novel type things too? Werewolf style things. I'm not so. much. I am. I'm totally intimidated by graphic novels. I feel like Same. being almost. I feel like I'm almost 40 years old. Like the ship has sailed. If I was going to be into graphic novels, like I lost my <laughs> fucking chance long ago. So. Oh, um, oh, no. <laughs> Um, I think I think for me and I know Bob is he Bob is probably gonna text me in a minute like please stop talking about where it was but um, <laughs> I think I can almost say that probably for me Silver Bullet was the one that did it for me when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, I love Silver Bullet. 
was okay, good, there we go. There we go. Movie. Didn't yeah. even need to have a dick out. It was just that good. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah. Devin's gonna divorce me at the end of this episode. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, well, because it's like, it definitely has the whole like coming of age type story as well. Kind of like, um, I know Monster Squad is a really big favorite as well, and it has the Wolfman mm-hmm. in it too. Mm-hmm. Um, so I heard they're redoing that. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Sorry, I heard that too. Yeah, they're remaking everything. I heard they're redoing. Oh, uh... well, they're gonna like try Monster to... Squad. Oh my god! I. Heard that, yeah. I... Yeah. I thought that was a fever dream. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I know they're, uh, they just announced Jeepers Creepers 3, which I'm pretty excited for. Yeah. 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 As long as it's like a continuation and not a remake, I'm. A yeah, no, it's more supposed like... to be. Uh... I'm honestly, I've I think never liked some... a Jeepers Creepers movie for some reason. I, I, think there's, I think there's controversy right now with the guy that's going to direct that movie as, um, like, a. Um, Bonafile. Yeah, like a registered sex offender. So oh, people shit. are like. Whoa. So people are like, if you support Jeepers Keep- Creepers three, then you know you like little kids or some shit like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! So he is he is a creeper. Yeah. He's he's creeper. A true creeper. <laughs> yeah, that's not Dick Owl. No, no, no. no. If you look, that's pretty much. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to look into that. Well, he's like, it's like it's like hardcore like, like Jared Subway stuff. Holy! <laughs> Whoa! Exactly. Damn, Damn that's, yeah, that's, that's not cool. Oh, <laughs> shit, okay. Scrub that from the files. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Edison, Jeepers Creepers 3, go yeah, fuck Edison yourself. Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to up, don't want to wind up on another list. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we already exactly. know fly, come on. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, no, this this will be for Bob, because, Bruce, you got your werewolves and things like that. Uh, Bob, what is your favorite horror creature Horror creature. Um, horror. I don't really have a, I don't really have a creature. Um, Bruce knows the answer to this. I like songs that can have, uh, things like The Strangers, oh, uh, films like that. Films that actually, things that you know, there you know, there's people out there, and this shit's going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like real life. Real. Horror. Like I don't. I'm not scared of werewolves. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm not scared of zombies. I'm not scared of werewolves. I'm not scared of vampires. I want. I want like real life. I mean, I know it. This movie sucks now, but like. Devil's Rejects, House of Thousand Corpses, nice. things yeah. that could happen. Like, just freaks. <laughs> yeah, like, humans, humans just, gone evil. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like toes. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like finger paper cuts and the webs of my feet. Oh. If, uh, <laughs> yeah, I would not want to get caught by those guys. <laughs> Fuck that. Um, if they're shot, if they're shot by... Normal movies can be a little scary to me, mm-hmm. somewhat, but it's got to be. It can't be like overdone, and like some. I think the original Paranormal Activity was one that really, really gave me chills at certain scenes. I like that one a lot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was really dialed back, so it really yeah. it's kind of more effective that way. Yeah, yeah. The other ones were made more like they, <laughs> they, they, they heard people were just like, "Oh man, give me more of those jump scares," and they're like, "Oh fuck, okay." So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then Hollywood is like, oh, jump scares, eh? Yeah, we yeah. can do those for cheap. We, we can ride these out for 10 years. Let's, let's see how they're going. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Well, also, thank you guys for not doing any, like, jump scare tactics in, in your movies. I mean, yeah. I know, like, like slasher movies can have them, even though there's, like, they're a lot more subdued. So just, like, not going that route is fucking, like, 20 thumbs up on our end. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I noticed about, like, we made we made fun of jump scares. We yeah, that. yeah, you did. <laughs> she was always like, "What?" Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, and when when the friend was watching um, uh, Night of the Living, Living Dead, Dead yeah, too, yeah. that was. Like... Ah, hey, you went upstairs, you dumb bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was great, yeah. Oh, yeah. We actually was sitting there staring at a blank wall. Oh, and no. then we, added, we added The Living Dead in post. But I had to find a horror movie that had no trademark and no rights. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We had about four months after we shot that scene. Oh, shit. oh really? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, Tony actually told us while, while we were watching that that Night of the Living Dead is now... Like, like it's, in, it's past its... Yeah, not not Creative thing, Commons, but... Um, not licensed or whatever? Yeah, yeah, it's gone past the point of, like, having a personal license attached to it. Yeah, so, so you can actually use that without having to pay anybody, I guess? Yeah, yeah. 
I, I forget the terms of things all the, on That's, a good day. Like good to know. <laughs> <laughs> good to know for anyone wanting to make a horror movie. Yeah, well, that's why there's like there's so much like Lovecraft stuff coming out now too because mm -hmm. yeah, just... I guess his estate is yeah yeah. The Patton still haven't had a Lovecraft movie though. Well, it'd, cause it'd be fucking impossible to make. <laughs> that's, fair. that's fair. Yeah, it'd be like a guy sitting in a corner going crazy because he's hallucinating for like two hours yeah. straight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the movie would come with a Wait, little baggie of Simon... shrooms and be like, "Do this before you watch the movie for full effect." Yeah, Simon Pegg basically did that movie, but then it turned into like a thing what movie was that shit i'm gonna google it <laughs> <laughs> hey so sorry just fyi i think bob dropped off Did you guys see where he might have dropped off oh. i don't think he's oh. on the line anymore uh -oh. oh sure um, okay i think i think his laptop shit the bed so he... oh yeah yeah he... it says no, he's, we still have him on here okay no that's just oh, oh, oh nope. now, we, now we now okay, we dropped him gone. now yeah. he's gone um but he did tell me to tell you guys sorry and thank you so much and I don't know how to pronounce the word shit with this many eyes in it, but it says shit. shit. It was so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sweet. Oh, uh, dude, so far, thanks, Bob. So that was, yeah, yeah, thanks very much for coming along, Bob. That was awesome. I'm glad, I'm glad we got his, his, like, I I don't like creepy people in the woods as my, as his horror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice. I, like, I like the dude on the street, three doors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sure. that's rad. Oh, it was called The Fantastic Fear of Everything. Nobody cares. <laughs> so. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh that's, that's Simon Pegg, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's okay. just a oh. guy kind of being crazy in his apartment. Uh, yeah. Simon, Simon Pegg is, man, he's man crush all the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Pretty wonderful. So I did, leave you for Simon Pegg. I did you, let did you. you guys hear that him and Nick Frost are starting their own production company? Oh yeah, and, okay. And I think they already have like their first project like uh, on on paper to to start um, principal on. I think something like that. But but yeah, they're gonna like have their own production company. So That's right. I think it. I think it's. I'm trying to think. I want to say it's like it's gonna be like TV driven, maybe. But maybe I'm fucked up wrong on that. I can't remember. But That's I mean, either way, in, any That's time good. they get together, you're like ears perk up a little bit. You know. Oh, so, it's totally. always good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, always good. That's yep. ooh. Well, yeah. like them having their own production company, Neil Blomkamp doing Oats now, which looks pretty sweet. So, like, yeah, he did District Nine. Yeah, District Nine and all those. He's, oh, okay. Like it, his stuff looks like it's gonna be a lot more like sci-fi horror. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Just with what he's going for, and I'm like, all right, I'm cool with that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let's sure. uh, see yeah. where this goes. No, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, I want to check out uh, see what they do because uh, it's cool that like Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, they were like. They just met in a bar. And yeah. Simon Pegg was like, wow, this guy's really funny. And so he just started putting him in everything he was doing. <laughs> That's where all the magic happens. Bedrooms, yeah. no. Bars, yes. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. People don't go to bars enough these days. Yeah. That's, that's true. Oh, I think there are a couple yeah. magical things that happen in a strip club. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can, and you can buy it now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Let's do so. Let's let's nice get you to do some some promo, some pimping. All the links will be in the sure. descriptions below. But again, if there is like, how can how can someone listening right now buy a copy of your DVD? Yeah. Uh, right now, the only way to get a copy of the DVD is through Amazon. Through Amazon. Okay. Cool. Yep. Good. Through Amazon. Um, we you know we did our pre-order run and and um, we have we have another run that we're gonna do for when we start doing a couple more conventions this year. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, yeah, just Amazon. So Amazon for the DVD, if you if you want to have a physical copy. Um, mm -hmm. If you're cool with digital, if you're cool with streaming, then, if, I mean, all the all the, all the the usual suspects are there, you know, um, iTunes, Google Play, the Xbox Store, nice. mm -hmm. Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. It's on, it's on Amazon Prime, yeah. so, yeah, and Steam. Yeah. And, so, and I, I guess I... <laughs> I, I guess I kind of failed to realize, you know, you guys being up in the Great White North, yeah. <laughs> uh, that you guys don't you don't, you know don't have access necessarily to all those platforms. Yeah, um, yeah. But you yeah. can totally buy it and rent it on Steam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can own and rent it. Cool. Sure. So yeah, for actually, Canadian specifically listeners, Steam, do it right now. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And we just actually we just found out, and I, not that it's in Canada, but there's uh, actually a brick and mortar video store chain that's still around in the northern U.S. called Family Video. 
Yeah, I, comment, oh. I commented on that po picture on your Instagram. Yes. Yeah, saying, oh, man, I miss, yes. I miss so, old video stories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. And so apparently, yeah, and I, that was kind of a surprise, you know, that um, they, I think, they put a thousand copies in seven hundred and fifty. All seven hundred and fifty of their locations split up. So that's awesome. dude. Nice. I, I, I know. Like, is this even happening for real? So, hell yeah, that's so but, cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool yeah, to like go I, in and see your movie on a shelf. You know? Oh, totally. Yeah. I told Bob, Bob from the get go. I said, dude, if we end up in the two dollar bargain bin at Walmart, I don't care. Just like <laughs> to be able to, to you know to be able to see like a tangible product of you know of our work would, would be cool on any level so oh exactly you Damn know right, if yeah. people if people like it all the better but if you know if everyone hated it we still made it so you yeah know, exactly i think for us it's important just to kind of remember that we still brought an idea to fruition because that's i think that's half the battle you know people mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. see that end product and they think how the fuck do i get there from here yeah. And it's like, well, you just you just take that. You got to take that first step. You got to just take one step forward. Yeah. And if you get if you get kicked in the nuts, or if you get your your toes broken, then, you, get you know, a crowbar <laughs> you your just bum bum. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you might have sketty out your ass. You just never know. <laughs> right, so. I was gonna say, yeah, like yeah, the 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 bum gore recipe. It was pretty good. Yeah. We it were was trying not, to identify the contents. It was actually it was lo mein noodles. Oh, okay. 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 Cool. Nice. Um, Delicious. And, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Uh, um, <laughs> I, I think. Uh, yeah, it, it is what it is. You know, it was, it was fun. It was fun. But yeah, it was low main. So. Okay, Sweet. Good. Yeah, I was wondering what kind <laughs> of noodles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I owe you five bucks now, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's real bloody films on everything, and then strip club massacre. Uh, yeah, I mean, really, both of those two are fairly unique enough that if you search those on any of the platforms, you'll find it. So cool. Mm -hmm. Real with two E's. Yeah, real with two E's. Real with two E's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yes. Um, All the genius at work there with the two E's. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, that is our episode. I want to say thank you so much again to Bruce and Bob again. Um, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much for making a fucking kick-ass movie. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so everyone, please check them out. Uh, they're real bloody films. Uh, real with two E's, kind of like a film reel. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Pretty fucking cool. Um, and Strip Club Massacre. Like I said, if you're in Canada, check it out on the Steam store. If you're outside of Canada, it's everywhere else for you. <laughs> so, <laughs> um... And yeah, so we are Guttural Frequency, and like us and review us on iTunes, uh, give us a thumbs up on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Stock the shit out of us. Just, yeah. <laughs> I will set up our bathroom cam hopefully next week. Uh, <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> guttural Frequency slash Mukbang to watch me eat a burger. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, that evokes <laughs> hell of an image. Good lord. Sure does. Oh, man. Cool. Um, once again, thank you so much again, Bruce. Uh, thank you so much again, Bob. Really appreciate it. Honestly, thank you guys. And, yeah, hopefully we're going to have you back again soon. Yeah, look forward to For talking sure. to you again in the future. Cool. Hey. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right, thanks again. Are you and... doing a bye, bitch? Oh, my God, oh, we yeah. have to do oh, a bye, yeah. bitch. Let's go out on the totally. good night. Yeah, All right. Gonna... Totally. So, one, one, two... Three. Bye, Bye bitch. bitch. <laughs>